Hey guys, a very zenu. Welcome to Dixon's World. By the way, show me one kunguni. Funke. Hmm. Show me one kunguni. Eh. So, come on, show me one kunguni. I think you can relate to his story. So, leo tuna chapa story time. Vitu zenye zime like the shiny up in here. Uh, and I don't forget them. So me, I think my major story, enye, honestly, I don't forget. Ni story ngine flani hapo ya after I resigned job, the series that followed. Ushe umwa na kunguni, like kunguni, kunguni, eh, bed bug. How much do we hear of this? Shish, shish. That thing is a terrorist, like. Literally, like that thing can make you hama Nairobi like Kesho. Na kiku foto usha go na hama Kenya. Nanda place ingine. Honestly, but Kunguni is just a no go zone. For me, min kiski a place kuna Kunguni. Your story ni me. I like. Kabisa. So, ewe, anajua kuna wase wengi wa penda like zile za Unataka ku acha job Maybe because i job imeku You just so fed up with everything The pressures nini. Of course jobs na wakana pressure Na mambo more but Hauju utanzia wapi, hauju utanzia haji, hauju Halafu nita resign, nita lipa rent na nini uh, school fees ya mto hii takuwa aje uh, Maade nita msota aje bla 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 Like unangalia vitu mob zile za zina kufanya ufil zi I don't think I can resign right now Wacha ni jipange alafu ni kisha jipanga nita nita resign So me I was in that situation uh, back in the day um, and I, and I thought so much about resigning. I felt so unfulfilled. Na yo jobo na feel zileza. I think I am not growing uh, as a person. I'm just stagnant. Uh, na lipa tu rent, na food, and then na lipa fea kwenda job. That's it. Sifanyi kitu ingine like ada kubayengu ni noma, um, like siezi enda ka vacation. Like ada siezi baya maade kitu substantive. So I felt like this job I could not, I could not So, but I kept trying let go. I freak out too, kabisa, cause I shindo. I let go. Alafu, what will happen to me? What will happen? Who will pay all the bills? Who will do A B C D? You know, father, like a dog, at least can I pay those stuff? Apana pale, at least silalinja. But now, um. Ambitious person, no kwa ambitious ni mambongine. Kuna vitu kuskuma tu enye, unaskumika. So, me, I've always been ambitious because ni me come from place enye, ya kuna kitu. So, lazima ni ya kikishe, at the end of the day kuna kakitu, ama kuna kitu, ama kuna kikitu. Like, I have to make sure na work super smart and super hard. So, job enye, employment haiku ina nipatia iyo. Like, enye na work hard, lakini enye mse na work ya hard mse mungine. So, effort yangu yote, like, umagete. Eh? Kamisha ndeka kika mju, bado tu, nika, ni peanut. Eh, una, 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 una lipo 24th, by 4th una kitu. Ata kredu wezi buy. Like, Man, anyway, I know me understand. So me, I decided like I'm fed up. So I started like, a tour company, and I was well juggled between jobo na running the tour company, and it, it was doing well. Everything was doing well, and then um, I decided, okay, come on, the tour company is doing well. What am I doing here? So I resigned with immediate effect, jumped into the tour wagon, and. The roller coaster began your life, and uh, I remember things were very okay in the beginning, and then shoo, So things started not diving. Wow, kuna biashara, kuna um, kuna clients. 
So you organize an event unajipata kwa peke yako unajipeleka health get solo umelipa dere na umelipa tu hiyo uh, kampuni ya magari ya haya unaingia kwa mfuko utaduso business became bad and i think i almost got into depression at some point and then i started um, a movie shop i had known hizo marut zote za za river road place ya kuendea ma movie um hizo series and all that so nakumbuka when i started the movie shop again i felt like this is not something i really am into um the income or even the location maybe wasn't so ideal so it could be the eh me hapa itabidi nijipange kama hii ambition yangu na nikimbiza hivi i love to look for something that will satisfy my ambition na niko nimesema mimi stack story ya kurudi job tena at Nigeria you know and say i almost even do my certificates seriously kwa sababu mimi siko nataka story yote na kuajiri wana mse like i was so fed up fed up ile ya ukweli like niko nimechoka so <clears throat> like i decide i movie shop ata inafunga after two weeks actually nikafunga i'm like ah ikitwa ina moral i i need something that will kitu yenye tu inaka iko na future kitu yenye iko you know so i used to live in a two bedroom house and then i rolled down to one bedroom pia ikakuwa noma kulipa so nilikuwa na bestie yangu anaitwa Evans and kambe Evans ni aja man we eh uh, ni okole ju enye ni mshindo kulipa ikeja unonaje Evans akanambia we ni aje we uzi hizo mavitu zenye uko nazo hizo uh, viti ni nini juu hazizi toshia kwa haka kanyumba kangu alafu come through so to cause a viti i sold my seat i sold my 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 my, my other bed i had two beds one big one and the other ka smaller I'm like maze he bed big miss uzi me na jua god to atani bless eh god atani bless na ndapata hao in future na nitatumia hii bed kubwa and you know god na kulimboga yeah so uh, nikahamisha vitu kwa Evans uh, nyumba Evans ilikuwa Evans alikuwa actually kiateka a place yenye nilikuwa naishi huko kwa two bedroom alikuwa kiateka huko so alikuwa na kanyumba kake ka ka, ka mabati hapo na mse u, kama umeishi nyumba ya mabati unajua kuamka ina kwa gasa ngapi hiyo nyumba hiyo kija usiku baridi and then the moment kajua kama tokelezi ya TV7 ah hatuwezi lala nyumba iko na joto nika uko ndani ya sufuria literally yani ilikuwa tu yani una accept reality wasa madu ni sawa but unajua things zitakuwa better so then hiyo kija ilikuwa na kunguni my friend hey pull up pull up hiyo kija I think ilikuwa ni kama breeding zone ya kunguni or something. Yaani zile kunguni ziliko hiyo mtaa. Ah. Mimi nilikuliwa la kunguni. Hadi nikaanza ku question God ni aje. Mazesi jai kuliwa na simba na mafisi na nini? Nikuje nikuliwa na tumdudu huku hivi. Yaani atunipe hata peace. Uwezi lala tuna uma places zenye hata hata sijui naweza kuambia je but zili ni terrorize tu mbaya sana but sasa utafanyaje hauna kwako umse ni best ya ni tu wenye ni kuniokolea na niokolea tu ilikuwa inafika place yani inafika 6 jioni mimi na gonjeka yani tunakuwa tu msik niki imagine tu ndaingia kwa hiyo keja Alafu nijifunike, alafu mashambulizi yaanze. Nishambuliwe mpaka asubuhi wase. Ah. Man, yani I hata sijui. Ikafika point sasa mi uh, we hata tuka tumechoka tu wenyewe ku tumechoka kukuliwa, tumejaribu dawa yote, hakuna dawa ina. Hakuna dawa ina hizi vitu. Eh hey, ikabidi sasa 
tunazurura kitengela every day jioni tukisikia place yenye kuna kanisa inaimba tunaingia kesha apostle we hear of this tunaenda kuomba tunaimba nini by real sense tunaepa tu kunguni eh nakumbuka 31st december in 2013 31 december 2013 mazi mia tisa au so tukaenda kesha mwaka mpya i feel like mazi twende tu juu lazima tu tuombe 2014 iko tu mwaka boa so tumeenda sisi hao nani pasi asema kama uko na kila mtu achukue karatasi na pen andika vitu zote zenye unataka kuacha hii mwaka mwaka mpya ukivuka hauvuki nayo mazo unaweza imagine tuliandika nini si nje mwa shida yenye tulikuwa tumepitia yenye tu tuliandika tutaki kuvuka na kunguni wacha tu tuvuke lakini si na kunguni that is how bad kunguni ilikuwa imetupeleka so kama uje kuliwa na kunguni bado bado hizo ni staff zenye zinaweza kuhamisha roho safi yani kukuhamisha yani mimi nasikia ga kunguni ati wewe sijui kuna mali kuna kunguni ata sirizi ata sijui nakumbuka 20 2014 nikaingia kwa mat so nje kipale kwa mat uh, is mat 14 sita nyuma ya dereva hapo ndio nikaa inzi nina kuanga juu kuna wanga na joto so mini nimeketi katikati hapo kwenye inzi niko then kuna mzae on my right alafu kulikuwa na madhe karibu na mlango so si mimi naenda home <coughs> ni majioni jioni <coughs> mi kaangalia mzae niko na kitu kanapanda hapa kwa mzae nikaangalia vizuri eh hey, niko na nikunguni mimi nakwambia na fea yenye nilikuwa nimelipa na sikuwa nimefika azi mimi nilishuka ro safi hii kitu si baby kwangu acha nitembee mguu but i am not going home na kunguni ha mimi na so hiyo ndio story ya life yenyewe vitu zingine tumepitia but god ni mso the things that yet to me to me on they become lessons we don't want to go back there we try to work hard uh kama uko hapo hivyo na una feel zile za unataka kuacha job ka basu biz enye mister kudanganya si raisi you have to be cleansed like you have to go through so so much for you to even make that small a uh, little coin in your tamek ni noma but kuwa mnoma zaidi hakuna kitu you need to be hard in hard situations sabu ukikuwa msofti pia yenye itabidi utai take risk auto itoka place yenye uko inabidi tu utaka utakoma uta tu pale uko uta stagnate tu pale pale it takes uh, risk takers ku move their lives through thick and thin ama through the mud na kupanda hizo mamilima na ku go through but pia nataka prayer so wewe omba god ambia god chenye unataka god usikiza god um god hatambui kama umetoka kwa umaskini hatambui kama wewe tajiri hatambui nini god anaangalia action zako anaangalia how diligent you are how uh, you know how how are you pushing yourself ada god pia anaangalia kama unajisaidia jwenyewe uwezi piga tu nduru oh god nisaidie na ujisaidie you need to help yourself ndio god pia akusaidie so that was my story for this week guys uh, thank you so much please come over subscribe channel yangu ya youtube inaitwa dixons world and uh, bonyeza hiyo button ya subscribe uh, i promise content zenye zina come through ni just noma noma hopefully mtazipenda so we'll be doing uh, fun content we'll be doing motivational content we 
tachanganya tu zote uh, tuko hapa kuwa fun tuko hapa ku <laughs> kuelimishana thank you so much guys bye love you all